the works too. This is the uh, second year of the works too. And actually we didn't change anything because we were quite happy how it skied, but I will give you the rundown on it. So you understand the details and why it might be the right fit for you. The cool thing about works too, is it's a full blown tournament ski, but it is a wider ski than a lot of the skis out there, primarily in the tip. So, um, 67 inch works two is 6.99 wide. So that's about seven inches wide in the four body. In 10, 15 years ago, when we were all skiing, uh, they didn't have skis that wide. Those would have been almost recreational skis. But lately, we're finding ways to make wider skis work and turn and run 39 and 41. And I do think that's the future of slalom skiing. So the works two really is kind of our take on that style of ski. Uh, so wider four body, not crazy wide in the tail. So the tail sits down, rolls over, has great hold. Um, but yeah, that's, that's essentially the idea on the width profile from a rocker standpoint, four stage, what that means you have a flat spot on the front foot, you have a second flat spot on the tail, which gives you stability and drive. Spend a ton of time working on the curvature under the back foot curve under the back foot affects your onside turn quite a bit. And also if you get too much of it, you have instability. And if you get too little, you just make bigger turns. So what you need to do is really nail down this rocker line and a ton of time was spent on that works too. But I think that the magic to these skis is really what we've done in the front. Tons of time invested on these. Back in the day, skis were pretty flat in the front. We went through some ski designs where we had more aggressive tip rockers. Uh, this is the sweet spot. This is, gives you stability when you do go on the shovel. So you can really move onto the shovel off the second wake without being penalized by stopping or biting or overturning. But it's not so flat that it doesn't finish the turn when you need it. So simple ideas refined over 18 years of ski design, all put into one shape in terms of width, rocker under the back foot, rocker in the nose. And when you get all those right and you have experience in combinations, you get a ski like the works too, which has the ability to win pro events or, um, you know, teach how to run the slalom course. From a cross section standpoint, it has a fairly steep and deep concave, which we call a high volume concave. So when the water hits the bottom of the ski, it funnels it towards the fin. It doesn't let a ton of water escape. And so the ski has good tracking and has good drive. So when you finish your turn, you're going to get from the buoy to the first wake quicker on this ski than most skis on the market because of that steeper and deeper concave. Um, it has a fairly large bevel. The work skis have probably some of the biggest bevels that I've built on these HO skis. The bevel creates drag and stability. And they're positioned such that they have stability and drag where you need it for deceleration into the buoy, but not where you don't. And what I mean by that is it doesn't have a huge bell up in the shovel or in the tail where you need the tip and tail to be free to rotate and to kind of continue to move without stopping and biting. So once again, simple concepts on bevel and concave and rocker and width, the magic is putting them all into concert so that the ski does everything well. And that takes experience. And that's something that HO Syndicate, well, we have a lot of experience in those areas and that's what makes the ski work. From a construction standpoint, it's a very simple build. In fact, it's probably the most simple ski build out there. It does not have a plastic top. It does not have a plastic bottom. My goal is total minimalism. I just want it to be made of carbon fiber, uh, high density, rigid PVC foam and resin. And so everything here is about getting stuff out of the ski. If I could ride a ski made of three ingredients, I think that's the most beautiful high performance design. And so we have a very minimal graphic element on the top and the bottom. We actually have limited about 95% of plastic out of the ski. The only plastic left in this thing is a little bit of plastic where your inserts are embedded in the core. But from terms of base and top sheet, there is none. You say, why bother doing all that? Well, Plastic soaks up vibration. And if you're bombing down a snow ski hill, that's a great thing having damping. But if you're skiing at Jack Travers at the world championships, you want hyper reactivity so that every input you put into this carbon ski, you get out. There's no delay. There's no loss of power. There's no loss of energy. You're going to pump the swing set. And so we had to be bold and take stuff away that makes skis traditionally look cool or look good to make the best skis in the world. And I think Will really showed that last year when he ran the two at 43 at the pro event at Jack's is that by taking stuff away, we made a better performing ski. And that's what syndicates all about. That's what the works program is defined on. And, I'm, and we're really excited how these things ski. 
And that's why we had the confidence not to change a thing for this upcoming year and to let you get out through the demo program or through your local retailer and, you know, feel what it's like to ride the future of skis.